morning folks welcome back to junkie with junior so we're up here in olive branch mississippi today getting ready to get us some breakfast get this truck fired up warmed up ready to do a short drive because we're gonna go from olive branch directly into memphis go check out comp cams don't know if we'll be able to do any footage in there if i can you'll see it if not you'll just get to see the outside of it so hopefully you get to uh but we're gonna get this thing going and get our day started cat in the parking lot jeez welcome to comp cams folks we have found camshaft heaven oh my gosh they have got some camshafts here folks really cool to go on a tour of comp cams we buy so much and sell so much of their product at the shop uh, it's really cool to see where it actually comes from where it starts its life these are all just cores so they still have to be machined then they ship them down the road to Olive Branch to their warehouse and all get distributed and shipped from there. But gosh dang, look at some of these monsters. Look how big that camshaft is. I have no idea what it's for. Of course, it hasn't been ground yet, but just massive stuff. Big ones, small ones, see, you name it, they got it. Comp cams is what's up, folks. All right, folks, so this is literally like a library of camshafts here. So this is the old school way of doing it. They still have all these loads. So this right here is the master and they put it in the machine and that grinds the small lobe on your camshaft. That's the way it used to be done. Now it's all computer CNC stuff and uh, you don't need any of this anymore. So it's just like an old library. Very cool. Is anybody looking for an intake manifold? Because I think we found the stash. Man, we're so we're at the warehouse now where Comp stores all their stuff and Edelbrock as well, and it gets distributed out from here all amongst the United States and the world. And I just can't believe I had no idea that there'd be this many stacks of stuff ready to go. It's just mind boggling. This really is a lot to take in. This building that we're walking in actually has its own zip code, it's massive. So now we're at the other end of those aisles I was on and they're just stacked. I can't even imagine how many thousands are down through here. Just seems endless. All right, folks, that does it for our tour of Memphis. So we've got to check out Comp right here where they make the camshafts. We've got to check out the warehouse where they store them all and ship them along with the Edelbrock stuff. The warehouse is just packed full. The machinery here inside is amazing. Uh, a lot of it we couldn't take pictures of. Some of it we'll get on there for you. Um, just great stuff, great people working here. American made, it doesn't get any better. And uh, we did get to go have us some Memphis barbecue while we were here. We got to go check out the old tops and uh, boy, certainly didn't disappoint. Whenever you get out of the truck, open the door, it smelled awesome. You walked inside, it smelled awesomer. So we had a great time here, but it's time to load up in the old square body and head for Bowling Green. We got to get ready for LS Fest. We're headed there in the tonight to do LS Fest tomorrow morning. Welcome to Kentucky, home of the LS Fest. Holly, here we come, we're so close now. We had to stop at this rest area slash welcome center here. Uh, had to take a little bathroom break. We've been running for a while. Bad news is our good luck has ran out on the rest area scene. We had to stop here. This one's currently under construction, which is gonna be amazing when it's done. Nice new concrete slabs and stuff to park on, but 
the outhouses are literally outhouses this time so our luck kind of ran out on that but the good news about the outhouses is the old Suckomatic 3000 truck was through here not too long ago so they're pretty clean surprisingly had a large dose of the old hand sanitizer though when we walked out of that thing because who knows on the side of the road we're in kentucky there ain't no telling what's happening here truck has been flawless the entire time uh it's 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 amazed me uh, it's so rewarding all the work that i've put into that truck and that it's ran so well and done so good to us the ac has been ice cold we haven't even hardly had the ac on high and it's just working awesome so we're gonna keep on keeping on so I can't believe I didn't even think about it, but my buddy Wilbur says, hey, instead of going to the hotel, since it's in Bowling Green, why don't we just swing by Holly so I can see what it looks like? So here we are. So we've been to comp cams so we can check out the people that have their camshaft and rock arms in the truck, powering this thing down the highway and valve springs. Well, now we're at Holly, so it's kind of a full circle for the old truck because all the stuff that powers it, we've uh, been to those factories. So we got the Holly EFI that runs the truck that came from this building right here. She's an oldie. Uh, I did, uh, had the opportunity to go in there a couple years back when I got to go to Holly EFI school for the first tier of the three that they have for Holly EFI. So everything that I know about the Holly EFI and that truck came from inside this building. Uh, Tom Kais taught us a whole lot about that stuff. It's so cool the infinite amount of things you can do with the Holly EFI. But uh, it's, it's pretty cool to all the places that we've been able to go with this truck so far and uh, you know it gets to see the places of where its parts come from and not a lot of people get to do that so i'm very blessed and thankful for this opportunity finally made it to the hotel so since we left florida we've put 1100 miles on this truck and it's been great uh it's cool going around through downtown bowling green here trying to get to our hotel ls is everywhere everybody's ripping leaving from a traffic light and stuff so we'll see if the night scene gets turned up a little bit but when you're staying in bowling green for the ls fest this is the kind of stuff that's just driving around and here they come to stay here for the night quite the machine really looks like a road hugger umi performance i'm assuming it's their you know company's car so they're out having some fun selling product promoting product so can't wait to see what tomorrow has in store for us. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.